For initial setup, I just added a logo we want to react, a background, and an audio track to my timeline. Let's start by right clicking on our audio track on our timeline. Hover over Keyframe Assistant and select Convert Audio to Keyframes. This will create a new layer called Audio Amplitude. Expand that layer and then under Effects delete the left and right channels. Hold down the Alt key and click on the stopwatch next to the slider property. Then click on the Graph View button. You should see a graph as well as the expression editor. Delete what's in the editor box and type the following. Next, we want to choose a low and high unit values for where our object will react to the audio. So I want it to react where the beat hits down here, so I'm going to set my low value to a little bit above those units. Then I'm going to set my high value to around here. For the next two values, we want a range that we can scale to, so just choose two values just outside of the ones you just typed. Type a closing parenthesis to finish the expression. Next, I'm going to select my logo and press the S key to bring up the scale property. Alt click the stopwatch next to scale so you can see these tools. Click and drag the spiral pick whip tool and release it on the slider property. Okay, now we have our effect working, but our logo shrunk a bit. To fix this, make sure you have your object selected and then go to Effect, Distort, Transform. Here, increase the scale as you'd like. And now, when I play this back, we have a nice looking effect. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.